Okay, I am going to go ahead and install the um, head studs. I got a new pack of this from CB. And uh, so the way this looks is that it's got you know, long, 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 medium, short, short, medium. So um, I'm going to go ahead and install so the, the, the ones next to the uh, push rods or the long ones. So, you know, I've got the long ones here. I'm going to need four for this side. I'm going to go ahead and put on, uh, this is a high temperature thread sealant. I'm going to not be shy about this on here. So, on all of these. sides okay so I'm just going to go in next to the push rods here so I'm, I'm just going to as a rule of thumb I'm going to go until it is snug and then I'm going to back it out about a, about a turn just because uh, you don't want it to bottom out. So that's the second one. All the way in and back it out. So the reason why I'm doing this engine in such a weird order, I'm sure everybody knows who like that, like why aren't your cylinders and heads on? I don't have the heads. <laughs> I've, I ordered them from Tim's. They're coming, but they're probably not coming for another at least three weeks. So uh, that's why I've been doing everything in a kind of an odd order. Um, so I know I've got now two short ones. So two short ones and two mediums, and then I'll be done on this side. The other one has, the other side actually has the, um, the long stud. So you use a long one where you would normally use a medium one. We'll get to that. All right, so we'll go to two short ones in the middle. All the way in, and I'm just gonna back it out. Turn all the way in, back it out, and turn it. I don't know if that's what, what most people do, but you're not supposed to bottom it out, but you want plenty of thread grip. So if you get all the way in, back it out, and turn so that they're even. Now I got the two, the two medium ones. Okay, so that gets me all the ones on this side. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. On this side. The only difference here is I've got the deep stud here. So I gotta get a little more thread sealant. All right, on this side I've got five long ones. Go ahead and get the thread lock here. Sorry, not thread lock. Okay, so in the end, basically what I've got here is my head studs here. I'm gonna go the long ones next to the uh, uh, where the push rods go, long, 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 and then medium on the corners, two short ones. Again, this is the, the deep stud. I have, you can see the thread sealant in there, so hopefully. And then, if we flip it around, you look on this side. I've got, you know, long, 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 medium, short, short, long. And everything has its thread sealant in there. So now, I've got 
All my headstuds in there, ready to go.